Hi, this is Alcan. Welcome back to my channel. Normally, I don't do too many of these uh, long videos, but apparently this just came in from CNN, and it's not good. Uh, you might recall the U.S. built a, uh, a pier to uh, bring relief to Gaza. Well, guess what? It came apart. No, I'm not kidding. It did. No, no, Israelis had nothing to do with it. The U.S. built it. Something went wrong, and now it came apart. Uh, let's get into the details, see what the heck happened. Uh, anyway, CNN says U.S. pier constructed off Gaza has broken apart. Uh, by Orlean Lieberman and Natasha Bertrandi. Once again, I can't pronounce names for crap, so you have to forgive me. All right. It said the temporary pier constructed by the U.S. military to transport aid into Gaza broke apart in heavy seas on Sunday in a major blow to the American-led effort to create a maritime corridor for humanitarian supplies into the war-torn enclave, according to four U.S. officials. Part of the pier, which consists of a narrow Causeway to drive A into Gaza and a wider parking area to drop off supplies transported by ship. Discontinued on Sunday, the official said the parking area will have to be reconstructed to the causeway before the pier can be used again. The setback came one day after the heavy seas forced two small U.S. Army vessels to beach in Israel, according to U.S. Central Command, while another two vessels broke free. Uh, they're mooning and they were anchored near the pier. The efforts to reassemble the causeway and connect it once again to the parking area will resume when the sea conditions allow, officials said. The pier, which cost $320 million, has only began operation on May 17 when heavy seas forced the maritime shipments to stop one week later on May 24, two days before the part of the pier disconnected. It is unclear when the shipments were resumed. The temporary pier called the Joint Logistic Over the Shore, or JLO or JLOTS, required very good sea coordination to operate. CNN reported previously that JLOTS on, can only be operated safely in a maximum of three foot waves and waves less than 15 miles per hour. Heavier sea conditions delayed the deployment of the pier for several weeks as the system sat docked in the Israel port of Ashdod waiting for favorable conditions. The U.S. has stressed that the temporary pier is only meant to argument the human shipments going through the land crossing between Israel and Gaza. On Thursday, Vice Admiral Brad Cooper, Deputy Commander of the U.S. Central Command, since 820 Petrotron aid had been delivered to the pier to Gaza Beach, where the United Nations was responsible for distributing to the Palestinian population. This Dave uh, Dykenhurst, the director of uh, USA Labor Response Management Team, told reporters Thursday there were thousands and thousands of tons of aid waiting in Cyprus to be delivered through the maritime corridor, but those shipments are now paused with the Temporary Pier Inoperable. Yes, this is a breaking news story, and they will continue to update it. So for more information, go to CNN. But, you know, it's kind of funny because World War II, we were able to build piers, and guess what? We had worse storms than this, and the D-Day piers didn't come apart. So what happened here? Did some D DEI folks did something stupid there and messed it up? We'll we'll never know. If anything's possible. After all, uh DEI has been accused of uh damaging Boeing uh with their airplane fleets. So <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying, I don't know if this is what it is. Of course, a storm is a storm, and it could do damage, but, but you know, there's some storms that could do damage to stuff, and some storms that don't, and sometimes you build something crappy, 
it's not gonna hold up. This might be the case, but we'll never know until they do an investigation. So this is how I can say so long for now, don't forget to stop. I would say something, but uh, more, but I don't think so.